Hi, so this is a quick video showing how to create an app where restaurants can add their menus with different types of menu choices. So here is just a part where you can show the different restaurants and add a new restaurant. Of course, in, you could not only add a restaurant name, but also a photo of the restaurant or a geographic location so that the user can, for example, search for just restaurants within five kilometers of so we click on the any restaurant name as is the repeating group and we show that restaurant's menus so they have a starters menu with different salads different pizzas and different wines and then if you click for example on the starters you would see salad one two three and their price and <laughs> ridiculously expensive salad here and then we go over to pizzas and we see different pizzas and their prices and of course you could uh, do the same for another restaurant which may have different foes for one for two okay but uh, how have i created the structure so we start with a quick look at the database we just uh, created a new type called restaurant each restaurant has a name so type text and a list of menus to achieve this you would first have to create something called menu and then here when you create a new field you would have to select menu and select it's a list of call it list of menus so then each restaurant has for example a starter menu a cocktail menu a lunch menu all these different menus and each menu might have a text and a description as you saw earlier the starters and this description was tasty salads for example and then it may have a list of items so for example the starters could be five different salads okay and items the list of menu items says this is not my failure at um pluralization but um, this is how a bubble uh, pluralizes <laughs> and so all I had clicked is menu items and again list of I created menu items here they have a name they have a number which is a price and an order number so this maybe as the admin could allow you to sort a certain item first or a, or a certain item last depending on where you want it to show up in the menu okay and what I've done here is I've uh, created a screen and made it a width of 375 and made it not fixed width as this coincides well with most mobile screens. And then I've created some different groups. The only one I show on page load is a call, group called group restaurants. So it's visible on page load. I made it fixed width like all of the other groups. So it shows up nicely. And inside it, I have a repeating group, which is just a search for all restaurants. Again, you could add a constraint such as restaurant location is within five kilometers of current user's location and then this is for the admin so i could for example add a condition here only when current users admin is yes i could show this field make it uh, visible as an example i could also do that for the create button so what the create button is, is it just takes the inputs value and it creates a new restaurant with the inputs value as the name. Simple. And now when you click a restaurant, what happens now is I've created three groups, a group with a restaurant, a group with the different menus of one restaurant, and a group of the items of one menu. So when I click here, what happens is I that group which shows the menus of one restaurant, I display that restaurant in it. So we see only the menus of one restaurant now. And then I show the group, which was previously hidden, and I hide the current group. So this group, I group restaurants I hide, and I show the group that restaurants menus, which is type restaurant, importantly. And inside it has another repeating group, which shows the parent group's restaurants list of menus. So we've just populated that group with the restaurant we clicked, and we're going to show the list of menus of that. Okay, at the top, for example, as this group is still type restaurant, we can show the name of the restaurant so the user knows which restaurant they clicked. It's a confirmation. And we can have a back button. This back button, all it does, it is hides the current group and shows the group with all the restaurants again. And in a similar way, when we click this, or maybe even when we click either of them, it shows the actual menu items. So we click one menu, such as the status menu, we want to see everything inside the status menu. And so I've Picked, um, I've selected the two texts and put a group around them. So now wherever you click, either here or here, you will 
go over to show the group menu, hide the current group, and display the current sales menu. So if I click the starter menu, I see the items in that. If I click the cocktails menu, I see the items in that. Okay, and then we have here inside, again, the group restaurant, a place where you as an admin could add a menu and a description and click create. And what happens when you click create is you create a new menu with the title and the description of the inputs. But now importantly, in step two, you uh, select make changes to thing and we make changes to the restaurant of that group and we add to the list of menus the menu we just created. So therefore the menu and the restaurant are linked together in the database and can be displayed. And now the final group, when we display the final group called menu, again we can have a back button to show and hide relevant group, we can show the menu title, and again it's a repeating group, but this time menu items, and it shows the parent group's menus list of items, but it's sorted this time by the order number. And here again, we can add a new item with a price. Price here would be decimal, I think is the best one. And when we create, creates a new menu item with the name price of the input and the order number, this is a kind of nice thing to do is you take the current menus list of items and you just add one to create the new order number. So if you've already got three items, the new one becomes number four. If you've got 10 items, the new one becomes number 11 as the current count is 10 plus one is 11. And again, we make changes to the menu to add the newly created item to the menu so that they're linked in the database. And that is pretty much our whole app. All we've got is three groups. When we click something, we hide the current group, show a new one and display that group's uh, list of menus inside it. And we, when we click a particular menu, we show that menu's list of items. And whenever we create something, it's linked in the database. Okay, I hope this basic setup helps you. And for short tips on Bubble and more, check out tipstar.com link below. Cheers.